It kind of it just sat right under my bed. And now I'm not scared of it. I'm Allison, and I'm 14 years old, and I live in Newton, Massachusetts. When I came into my cabin, I was like, oh, great, this whole thing over again. This was my cabin, and this was my bed. Nothing has been yet. My stuff was actually put in, like, my same bed that I had last year, and I was like, why am I here again? But, I mean, it's cool now because, like, it's very familiar. <laughs> Kids who come back, you know, are just kind of looking to put their stuff down and go do what they were used to doing a year ago. First year camper, like they have no idea what to even expect. You really got to be careful, especially with the first year guys, just to make sure that they're comfortable with, you know, their space and stuff like that and get them settled. You nervous? When a new guy walks in, he's thinking, will everybody like me? Will I make new friends or will I just want to go home the entire time? Old campers have a feeling of where they are and they feel oriented with the place. Hey, Damon. Two more. Connor and Ev. Connor and Morgan. This is Connor. No, this is Ev. Oh, this is Ev. Oh, you're Connor, huh? All right, pick a bunk, man. Malik, how's it going, man? Thank you. My name's Morgan. All right. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. You can tell when you have a good cabin when all the guys in your cabin, they're, like, really nice and they're willing to share and stuff like that. Hey, Megan. I'm Luna. Hi. And this is Annie behind you. Luna, come out, Luna. Have you guys been here before? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it was hard because everyone else had already settled into the cabin. Also, everyone else had already started to, like, meet each other and everything. And I was just like, hi. And they had already, like, you know, started their camp. You know, camp summer had started. And for me, it hadn't. <laughs> this time I to watch where you're going. I thought that these people were nuts and it looked pretty crazy because everything was everywhere and I didn't know anybody else. Jenny. We had a dog and we had people talk to each other. It was like I was a little foreign girl. It was like I didn't speak any English and everyone else spoke Spanish because they were all talking to each other, not talking to me. Jason? Yeah. Hey, last but not least, I'm Rhett. Hey, nice to meet you, man. I'm Jason, and I'm 15. Oh, look, I think I wrote myself a letter. <laughs> well, hello, I'm writing to the future. Ha, ha, ha. Hope you're feeling okay. Bye, love, Jason. Bye, 28. That was very considerate of you. I think I just might have seen back to the future. That <laughs> well, I was a little nervous. I was a little anxious to meet everyone when I get settled in. I really like the people in my cabin. I think it's a good bunch of guys. I know that I felt that energy from, like, everybody just as soon as I got in there. Their smiles, their expressions, their emotions, whatever. See, this cabin, it's, like, full of, like, people who are all funny, who are all great. Like, it's, like, a whole bunch of great guys. The way the camp is set up, the Pines is for the youngest campers, which is right next to the dining hall. Then you have to walk up a small hill to get to the grove. That's where all the boy cabins are. Just past the trees and up a little bit more of a hill is the hill, and that's where all of the older girls live. Favorite <laughs> start. All right, listen up. All right, one of the things that we have to definitely do, we're going to go with the rules. No girls are allowed on the steps or in the cabins. You know, basically what we're talking about is basically no cussing. Watch your language. You talk to some of these guys, that's my biggest thing. I don't want to hear you cuss. I do not. The biggest thing with me, of course, is basically if you lose your language around the females, okay? All right, keep that in mind. We're going to start positive, all right? You know what to do. Here we go. One, two, three. Grow bridge. Hoo -ah! One, two, three. Grow bridge. Hoo -ah! Hoo -ah! As you can hear, the guys are already flexing their muscles and uh, screaming and yelling. And I think that what we want to do is really uh, emphasize a lot of girl power, a lot of unity. Okay, on three, everybody. One, two, three. We are We are you? We are Yes, we do. We are you?
terms of the opening campfire is having the whole team go together for the first time. Welcome to the magic of the 1997 season. As our spirit and community award winners from last season, light the fire. I lit the fire because I won the spirit award last year because I had a lot of spirit. Fire is magic. Fire is light. Camp is magic. Join us for the magic. No matter what camp you go to, they have an opening and a closing campfire. For Peter and Penny, the directors, it's a huge tradition. Welcome to the magic of the 1997 season. One, two, three. Walkie, 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 How's everybody doing? Now that the campfire was kind of like the first day, and it was nice because you know it was very like spiritual. The campfire was good. Everybody seemed to be having a good time. They sung songs and big fire. I love that. The most difficult part about the job is to be in a position of authority, but also have the girls think I'm a neat person. I'm Annie from Florida, and I'm in photography. I'm Luna from Savannah, Georgia. Also. My personal opinion as a counselor is your friend first, and then you use that friendship and the respect you earn through the friendship to kind of mold the bunk. Grover Ridge counselors, come on down! I'm Brett from Andover, Mass. I'm doing athletics. My name is Morgan Will. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I'm doing performing arts. Okay, here we go, G4. Out of bed! Thank you very much. All right, here we go. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love They were really excited. The girls at the campfire were just bouncing out of their skin. And it, it was nice because it was the beginning of camp and everyone's really excited to be there. Yeah. These things are called huddle-ups, okay? Basically what it is, it's just like a cool-down point before you guys go to bed. We don't always have to talk, we don't always have to get real deep or anything like that, but it's just kind of like a chill-out type thing. But there will be certain nights that we're really going to have to have it out. We'll talk about the things that are going on in the bunk. You guys are going to get to kind of do your own thing, make your own rules. But you guys are old enough now where you can kind of take care of yourselves. You don't want me and Morgan sitting over you telling when you can, what you can and can't do. I want to have fun with you guys. Exactly. That's all we're here for. There's 11 of us in like a 20 by 20 space. And I refuse to let pet peeves get in the way of our relationships, honestly. You got a pet peeve, Connor? No. Yeah, it's you. Um, That's um, yours. I don't think it's appropriate. What is it? Um, we use the bathroom. with the seat up. Dude, that's very that's legit. legit. That's totally legit. I'm all over that. And we remain in our cabin from curfew until Reveille in the morning. And then, are there any other rules that you guys want to write down? Here's your chance to write it down now. Yeah, so yeah don't be quick. Together, yeah. together. Okay, okay. don't, don't be quick. So but this time, time you want to write down as yeah, a rule, don't, don't be clicky. Do you agree? Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. So we can, yeah. But this time, you guys, we have to follow it. Because I remember last year, like, we did not follow it at all. Oh, yeah. And it went like, really like, bad, like, on my behalf. And if you're, like, I think that's an awesome rule. And I think it would be so awesome if all of us as a cabinet and all of us as the whole hill just rocked as girls. I have oh, totally yeah. worked at camps for many, many years, I and I've never seen something like this. Like, yeah, but yeah. you know what? Some people who say that are total traitors. I mean, like, the Spice Girls, it's all about, like, girl power.